It's beginning to look a lot like a wet Christmas. It wasn't Santa that people living in the Comox Valley were tracking today. It was the rising floodwaters after pounding rain and high tide pushed already swollen rivers over their banks. And there's more to come. Wind and rainfall warnings have been posted for much of Vancouver Island, with as much as 110 millimeters of rain expected in some areas. Gord Kirpis has more. It seems that regardless of where you went in the Comox Valley today, the scene was the same. Water covering the roads, submerging playgrounds, and overflowing riverbanks. The city's weather fears had come true. Yeah, the high tide uh, certainly caused uh, localized flooding down in the, uh, the air park area, and we had that uh, storm force winds blowing it in, so it actually made the, uh, the high tide period much longer than it normally would have been. And those strong winds helped turn the Courtney River, normally a slow-moving flow, into an endless series of high waves. That forced the water over its banks, covering walkways and parking lots. The renowned Old House restaurant promotes itself as being along the river. Today, it was in it. I have never seen water this high. We've got waves breaking on top of our gazebo in our garden area. You know what? I've seen some salmon swimming in the, in the grass in here. It's crazy. Even though the city issued flood warnings on Wednesday and dropped off sandbags for the old house to use, co-owner Jeff Lucas says nothing could have prepared him for what he's looking at now. His worries this morning focused on what effect it would have on business. You know what, I can't see a lot of people that want to venture out, and yet we've got, we're packed with reservations today. It's Christmas Eve. So I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if they're going to all show up or if they're all going to stay at home. Over at the Maple Pool campsite, the scene of two large floods last year, the Solom River has once again merged with the campground. We're reaching uh, historic levels in that uh, river system. I, I think we're almost three times the normal pattern, and it, unfortunately it seems to be a trend that's continuing. The Solom overflowed in numerous locations, causing problems for drivers, but an adventure for this couple who live across from the river. Their philosophy, if you can't beat nature, you might as well go with the flow. Well, worrying's not going to make it go down any. So you might as well just enjoy it. It's quite the spectacle. <laughs> yeah, we just wanted to come see, what, see it up close. Meanwhile, over in Comox, RCMP were preventing those trying to get close-up looks at the waves coming in along the Goose Spit. Large logs were rolling over the roadway, prompting RCMP to close the popular road for the day. Many other routes throughout the valley were open, but puddle covered. Forecast says it will probably get worse. This uh, rain system is what is forecast uh, to hang over us probably for the next uh, two or three days at least. So um, whether we'll have a cumulative effect that uh, comes back and kicks us or, or not, I'm not quite sure. City crews have already distributed nearly 2,000 sandbags and crews will be on standby over the holidays should the situation worsen. In Courtney, Gord Kerbis, A News.